this is Mark Henninger from Sound and Vision Magazine at CDA 2023 here with Paul Hills, who is the founder of Theory Audio and Theory Professional, as well as Pro Audio Solutions, and uh, has a really deep and long history in the audio industry that he may or may not share with you in this video. Paul, please tell us what you're doing here at CDO. What is Theory Professional, and what are you showing? Yeah, so Pro Audio Technology has been catering to the CDO market for 19 years, uh, doing primarily very, very high-end private uh, screening rooms uh, for movie stars and movie directors, people like that. And then we introduced Theory a few years ago to take that kind of sound quality, big dynamic, uh, thrilling sound into the rest of the house, including distributed audio. And as you can see over my shoulder here, Theory Professional, the Theory products also are appropriate for commercial installs. So restaurants, bars, hotels, houses of worship, things like that. Now, one thing that I've been talking to people about is the, the advantage of reducing the number of SKUs and, and creating a uh, you know, product lines that, that have multiple applications. And I saw your video yesterday, I mean, your video, your demo yesterday, and that was certainly a theme. So I would love to go through the products. I'd like for, for you to explain uh, to the viewers, you know, ha what the applications are. Okay, why don't we start over here? Uh, so one way that we kind of reduce the number of SKUs but have a lot of different uh, application solutions is, for example, our six-inch two-way coaxial in-ceiling loudspeaker, which has a compression tweeter and a carbon fiber low-frequency driver, can be mounted into a pendant housing and turned into a pendant loudspeaker in about 60 seconds. So the pendant is the ceiling speaker mounted in a housing. And we also, it, it is, uh, can go outside uh, as well. And then it has a 70 volt transformer in it, so you can run it at low Z or high Z. And we have outdoor pendant housings too. So one, one speaker, can be four different things. Indoor pendant, outdoor pendant, indoor ceiling speaker, outdoor ceiling speaker. And then we have matching architectural subwoofers. This shape is primarily targeting commercial installations, restaurants, uh, bars, things like that. And then this is specifically designed for the Cedia customer. Uh, that'll fit into a two by six wall, flushed out with a very, very low profile grill just like this. So it's pretty amazing what you can do with this just handful of of architectural products. This in-wall loudspeaker has a maximum output capability of 117 dB. So what we've always done, what Pro's been doing since 20, uh, 2004, is we are able to uh, you know, pack more sound, bigger dynamic range, wider bandwidth into a smaller enclosure and typically at a lower price. So that's how we get value is we give you more sound out of the typical thing. And I think you were commenting on how impressed you were with this guy. This is a very big, rich sounding, very dynamic ceiling speaker. It's really a shocker because that's also a very large room that you played it in. And as soon as they come on, you, it, it, there's a cognitive dissonance between the amount of really like high resolution sound yeah, that, that also tonally is correct and, and everything. And yeah, again, the, the, the little speaker we're looking at, I mean, it's about the size of my hand there. Yeah, it's about eight, eight inches in diameter. Yeah, it makes a big, huge sound, and, that, and that's what we can do. So you can do a large distributed audio system with a fewer number of these, right? So I, I think I explained there was a commercial project that had been engineered with somebody else's pendants. They needed 72 speakers to hit the SPL um, and coverage requirements. When it was redesigned with the theory pendants, they only needed 44 to achieve the same results. So probably, you know, what, five decibels or so that you gain, you know, more? I mean, I, I don't know how that would well, translate. Well, we're higher efficiency, we play louder, and our coverage is just much wider. Oh, okay. So they don't have to be as close together, right? The dispersion comes yeah, in. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, they, 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 they do, in fact, sound like just straight-up high-fidelity speakers. Right. So what next do you have to show us? So let's walk around the corner here. Uh, this is our surface mount products. There are three sound bars. We've been showing those for a number of years. We're not showing them active at this, at this CDA. But those, the, the smallest one matches the size of a 65-inch TV. This matches a 75-inch TV. And the big one down there matches uh, the width of an 85-inch TV. So you're going to need one for these 98-100s. Yeah, we're waiting for that to shake out. We went to CES 
to try to figure out where's the market going. I think LG is going 97, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, right? LG is 97 with the OLED, 98 from Samsung and friends. But now at this show, Hisense has 100 inches. Like yeah, yeah we've got a 100 inch display in our room too. Uh, we'll we'll pick out which ones get grabbing the most market share, and then we'll match that too. So, uh, but what's cool about this is if you look at what the speaker is, this looks very familiar. It looks just like the in-wall speaker you saw on the other side of the wall because it is the same speaker. So, and then these guys, the small version is one third of the soundbar. So this is literally one third of the soundbar. So you can mix, mix and match these in a surround sound system. And then new for CDA 2023, we're showing the outdoor version of it. So this is the same speaker, but it's fully weatherized to be used outside 24-7. I see that in the grill being metal instead of cloth. What else uh, goes into weatherizing it? So there is some very, very uh, high uh, quality and very expensive hydrophobic material here that lets the sound out, but water can't get through it. It's very cool technology. Um, this is a stainless steel grill. The, the extrusions themselves are not, uh, are essentially the same. But on the back here, if I can, I don't think I can turn this I around. I can go back and look up at this. But one. there is a, there's a cover. There's a cover that goes over the terminal. Yeah, you can see it up there. So, uh, and uh, there's a lot of innov innov innovative ways to mount it. You can see we can hang it on the wall with Z-clips like this. It has a yoke bracket that can go portrait or landscape or hang from a pole. It can be mounted horizontally or in portrait mode on a wall. And then we have some stands that you can just take the, uh, in fact, when you reviewed the soundbar, I think you used the stands, right? Yes, I did. So you just, you put the stands on the speaker and it can just sit on a credenza. These are some of my favorite sounding speakers. I, I don't want to sound biased that's or nothing, awesome. but they really are. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Cool. Well, that's awesome. And uh, yeah, the proof is in the pudding and I've heard them prove themselves multiple times. So that's nice to hear. Uh, all right, we're gonna go look at some pro audio stuff in a moment. Uh, this company is his baby and has been for some time. And one of the more influential brands you will see at this particular show because it is all about extreme performance and i think you're upping the ante aren't you so tell our viewers what you got yeah so pro for 19 years has been making very high output professional style loudspeakers for uh very high-end private screening rooms so high-end home theater essentially and what we're showing on the pro side this year if we walk around to the other side um uh this is the first time we've exhibited and shown i lost you um uh, a new in-wall loudspeaker we call the 2408. This was actually designed to solve a problem uh, for a DCI cinema that one of our integrators was putting on an $800 million yacht. Uh, one of the world's richest men is building this yacht and they were gonna put a DCI cinema and DCI uh, is the commercial version. Uh, so they receive the movies directly from Hollywood. And in order to get a Dolby Atmos uh, room approved by Dolby, they require that all the speakers are aimed at the reference listening position. Well, on this yacht, they didn't have the opportunity to aim any of the speakers. There wasn't enough room. And so the integrator reached out to me, said, Paul, you gotta help me here. This is a very VIP client. Can you solve my aiming problem? And so I spun up this loudspeaker. You'll notice this is an asymmetric waveguide. So most speakers have the, the main axis coming perpendicular off the front of the speaker. In this version of this speaker, it actually is 40 degrees over from the perpendicular axis. So you can mount it flat in the wall, but direct the, the main listening axis towards the reference listening position. So we were able to meet the Dolby requirement, get the Dolby, uh, get the Dolby license, uh, and still have the speakers mounted flush in the wall. So it's also available with a normal waveguide so that it has the zero degree axis. And then if you come around the corner, uh, you can mount it in the wall or you can mount it on the wall we just sell this as an ancillary uh, enclosure and that lets you mount it on a surface mount and then you can pivot it anywhere landscape portrait all that stuff very very refined sound out of an in-wall loudspeaker all right yeah that looks really flexible cool thank you cool yeah thanks mark